This morning, rehearsals for a historic funeral. The military doing a run through for Prince Philip's official send off on Saturday, while Prince Charles and Camilla look over the thousands of flowers and messages from the public. Prince Philip, married to the Queen for more than 73 years, lived long enough to see his grandchildren grow up and have children of their own. The palace releasing this touching, never-seen-before picture of the Queen and Duke with seven of their ten great-grandkids. For the grandchildren, like William and Harry, Philip was just grandpa, an extraordinary man who was always there. He was somebody who, uh, incredibly pressed for time as he was all the time, nonetheless made sure that his grandchildren understood the traditions as well as the, uh, the ups and downs of, of monarchy. Over the years, whether in private or at many royal events, he shared with them his ideas and interests, and always with a warm smile. The Duke was at every adult grandchild's wedding, even at 99 years old in the middle of a pandemic. In an ITV documentary for the Queen's 90th birthday, Princess Beatrice speaking fondly about her granddad. There are lots of moments where uh, I've been able to share some quite magical times with my grandfather. Her sister, Princess Eugenie, who named her baby son after Philip, posting these pictures and moving memories. I remember learning how to cook, how to paint, what to read. I remember your hands and your laugh and your favorite beer. Prince William remembered the man who took his children on carriage rides and was by his side, rain or shine. I feel lucky to have not just had his example to guide me, but his enduring presence well into my own adult life. Prince Harry said Philip was my grandpa, master of the barbecue, legend of banter, and cheeky right till the end. He was an influence and inspiration, a source of strength for two young boys who'd lost their mother. Prince uh, Harry and Prince William uh, spent a lot of time with uh, Prince Philip. They had a lot of outdoor pursuits in common. He loved them and uh, he was a very good and loving grandfather. It was Philip who gave the brothers the strength all those years ago to walk behind their mother Princess Diana's coffin. Now his grandchildren could walk with him one last time. Yeah. And that's just one of the details we're still waiting to hear, just who will be in that eight-minute-long funeral procession here on Saturday. And today, the British press are widely reporting that none of the senior royals will wear military uniforms on Saturday, so that non-working royal Prince Harry won't be the only one wearing a suit. Now, the palace isn't commenting on this, guys, but we do hope to hear more about all of those details later today. All right. Wow. Kelly Cobiea, thank you. Everything is under a microscope. Yeah. Yeah. Every little detail. It's crazy. Big yeah. time. And a reminder, NBC News will bring you live coverage of Prince Philip's funeral. Hoda and I are going to be with you Saturday morning. We'll get started about 930 Eastern time on many of these NBC stations. All right. All right. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.